Yo, what's up soldiers? It's Commander Mars here, and I'm so excited to finally have my first commentary video with five tips and tricks on how to get better in Insurgency Sandstorm. Now these tips and tricks are gonna be directed at my console players. As of lately, I've been seeing a ton of new players, so I wanna help you guys get the gist of the game so we can have some intense fun matches. Insurgency Sandstorm is a very difficult game to master and play at a high level. Patience, timing, positioning, recoil control, teamwork, and even attention to detail are crucial to becoming a better player at this game. And that's where this game really shines when you're making smart plays, you're outsmarting the enemy, outmaneuvering the enemy, and going on high kill streaks. This game is extremely satisfying, and in my opinion, it's the best military game out there on console right now. I've been playing first person shooters for a long time, and I can confidently say there is no game that's given me an experience like this one. The gore, the guns, the game sounds, air support, proximity chat, just the atmosphere in general of this game is unmatched. I can remember so many times when I'm hunkered down in a building, engaging multiple targets, and I can hear the helicopters going off above me simultaneously while there's missiles flying around. And you can't even hear your own gunfire when you're in these situations with air support around you. And it just makes for such an intense and immersive experience. I, I truly, truly love this game. This game has such potential. It just needs the community to stick with the game get better at the game, but we also need the devs to produce and pump out consistent content to keep players engaged and interested in the game. But now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the video, and that's 5 tips to help you get better and increase your survivability in Insurgency Sandstorm. Alright, first tip is make sure you're utilizing and mastering your hip fire. Hip fire is extremely important in this game if you want to have a run and gun play style. It's going to allow you to let off rounds fast and consistently without taking the time to ADS and then ADS back out. In this game, milliseconds matter. So in that time where you're ADSing back out, you could get killed. So hip fire is very important and will immediately set you apart from your counterpart. It also looks and feels badass as hell when you clear out a room with nothing but hip fire. Check this little clip out right here. All right, the next tip is to make sure you're utilizing and using your tilt feature. You use your tilt by ADSing and then hitting L3 or R3 depending on the direction you want to tilt. Tilting is extremely important because it's going to allow you to peek corners or doorways without exposing a majority of your character model. Like I said before, attention to detail goes very far in this game. Alright, next tip up is to use your single fire. This game has ridiculously high recoil for the guns. So switching to single fire is going to allow you for more accurate, consistent rounds down range. But remember to keep close attention to what fire mode you have selected on your firearm. You don't want to be on a single fire mode when you need to be on full auto for close range engagements for example. This will get you killed. Fast and accurate single fire taps are immediately going to set you apart from their enemies. So make sure you're using single fire. When on single fire, you want to mimic your full auto select. So make sure you're pulling that trigger as fast as you can and control your recoil at the same time. 
you will win that gunfight. You want to especially use single fire at medium to long range engagements. Like this engagement right here. If I would have been on full auto, I, I, I probably wouldn't have won that. Check this out here. How did we get Artie? You can call Artie off spawn now? I thought you could only call Get Smoke. Here, Don't sound like Smoke. Oh shit, dude. Alright, next tip is to make sure you're flanking. This game has a heavy emphasis on flanking to catch your enemy distracted, which will lead to high intense moments. This also allows you to get inside the OBJ and will clear the path for your teammates to push up with you. In all situations in this game, you want to have a flank mentality. When breaching a building, never go through the front door. Always flank around the building. Try to find a different entrance because I can promise you there's going to be somebody camping that front door waiting and sound horn waiting for you to walk through that door. You know you've made a successful flank when you breach the objective and you're dropping bodies and the enemy doesn't even have time to register what happened. All it takes is for one successful flank, break through one person camping, and you can break through the whole front line of the enemy. Which makes a huge difference in a match and can be the difference between an L or a W. So make sure if you want to get good at this game, you're learning your maps, you're putting the time in, and you're hitting flanks for your team. Hit the mini map button by hitting the touchpad. Look at where your teammates are going and pick a route the opposite of them. And try to get a flank going. Who knows, you might go on a crazy kill streak. Alright, last but not least is to get your ass on the OBJ. By playing the OBJ, you're going to be defending and getting high kills because when you're on the OBJ you kind of act like a magnet for enemies. They're going to be pushing the objective trying to take the objective from you. And if you can memorize all the entrances of a certain objective, you can play multiple angles and go on some crazy kill streaks. When you're on OBJ, you get more points per kill and you get more points in general, putting you up on the scoreboard and helping you level up fast and get points for cosmetics. So, for you and your team's benefit, play that objective. When playing or breaching the objective, you don't have to commit to one direction that you're going. Be versatile in your approach. Push in, push back out. Decide if you want to go in or if you want to go from around. Remember, I told you attention to detail goes a long way in this game. And that's included in playing the objective. Now notice when you play the OBJ, it'll say either stalemate, blocked by enemy, or losing. I'm going to break that down for you. When the OBJ is saying it's on stalemate, it's letting you know there's one other enemy preventing either of you from capturing the objective. When the objective says blocked by enemy, that means there's two, or, there's two enemies on the objective blocking you from capturing the objective. When OBJ says losing right here, that means you're completely outnumbered on the objective and they are actually physically taking the objective from you your bar on the obj is going down so you notice here i was very versatile in my approach i got off the obj and i went around so be very very creative in your approaches on how you want to uh, reach an, ob an objective so yeah guys i gave you guys the blueprint on how to get better hip fire tilt single fire, flank, and play the objective. You master these things and you're in the right direction to becoming a great insurgency player. I'm going to have more tips and tricks coming, so stay tuned. 
and thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Commander Mars 